Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. How y'all doing? I want to, um, first of all, welcome each and every one of you who are here for the first time, never been here. We just sit here and sometimes y'all they what this channel was about is basically us sharing our mental experiences, um, our experiences uh, that now that we have found out, a lot of us at least, and we're beginning to look at the system that we're living up under. And when we start talking about narcissism, we can't talk about it without looking at the country that we're mourning if you live in America, first of all. Um, uh, there's, the funny thing is that we laugh a lot of times and joke about who started America, but it wasn't the best of England. It was the worst. Meaning your narcissist, your dreadhead, your thieves and peasants and all of it, the peasant class. And, uh, what they so-called jailbirds and got sent out of prison. Those are the ones who started America. And whose soil um, uh, whose soil they have drenched with the blood of the indigenous people that were here. Right? Okay. So when you look at that and you look at how history has brought us right here, where we at right now, and you hear people say stuff like, um, you know, there's no way in the world we can um, get past this because white supremacy is like it's a snake. And I agree with that. It is all over the diaspora. But so is the black man and the brown man. All over the diaspora. In fact, if you would really look at the dynamics of it, nine tenths of the population is people of color. It's only one tenth of the population that's not. So, obviously, um, and I, when people look at how the term wickedly great can apply to white folk, they wouldn't be reaching, they wouldn't be far reaching. Uh, you got mad when it was said of Hitler that he was wickedly great, but he was a European who was wickedly great. And I always contend that if you want to talk about the master blood shedder, you, okay. White people have gone into different countries and villages and brought the Bible and brought disease and brought shots and have wiped out whole nations have uh, perpetuated genocide on whole con uh, 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 countries to get into certain places, okay? This, that's why you don't see Native American running around here like you should since they inhabited this land first. So when you start talking about just the great blood shedder, you would have to give um, the white man his credit, his props. Okay? So, uh, with that being said, you have to also understand if you ain't never seen nothing burn before, nothing can burn down shit like black people. Black people can burn, go all the way back to Africa. We can burn some stuff down. And we will burn some stuff down. And Unless there's some reconciliation and some demands made. I mean, demands are coming. And unless there's a scripture that says, He who hath ears, let him hear. He who hath ears, let him hear. See the writing on the wall. Being able to adjust your stinking thinking collectively. Because just burning down statues and changing monuments ain't going to get rid of the problem that we got on this damn planet. And y'all know it. The bottom line is, you got to give it up. Ah. 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 
We coming for ours. And y'all got to be willing to say, it's, it's not okay for a few people to live like LeBron James and Oprah Winfrey and the rest of them to be in poverty and to leave everything negative on the planet. The rest of their people is down in the caste system and in, unless we can dribble a ball through a hoop or run a, 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 a touchdown through a goal post or punch out somebody in a, a first round that we not worthy of having uh, some kind of wealth. Not even the wealth that we talking about, but that's what you owe us. Not even the wealth of a LeBron James, or, but that's what you owe us. So when we get down, we got people who know the number game. We got people like but uh, 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 William Sandy Darity. You got people who know those number day uh, number games. Antonio Moore, um, you know, uh, Yvette Carnell. I think they do a pretty good job with those numbers and that data. You got to give them their credit, whether you like them or not. The bottom line is, this is not big and this is a debt owed. And if you don't want to see, if you don't want to see the fire next time, as my brother James Baldwin said. Y'all didn't have, we didn't have the roadmaps. Okay? I'm old enough. I didn't see, I, didn't, I, I lived through the civil rights. That was the second reconstruction. Here go the final reconstruction right here. Either America's going to stand up and be true to what she said on paper for all of us, or you're going to get the greatest burners. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y'all ain't never seen Because you ain't really thought about the science of Who is the great burner I don't want to see America go up in smoke But then there's another side that said Hey, if y'all can't share it with us and we built it Then we're going to have to put it up in smoke And you're going to cause so much festering inside That we get weak Can't y'all see it? We getting so weak from inside we are being destroyed, destroyed from within. And then what happens to old great Babylon? I see that Korea and China, all of them are amping up their nukes. Because they're seeing us as weak. And so when they see us as weak, you think, um, you know, I told you when I used to live on a farm, and I don't mean to go back and forth. I told you about those chicks I bought, and, one, and it showed me something about nature. When those chicks saw some of them that were, you know, I had, I started off way too many. I had 400, which was really stupid, right? But that's neither here nor there. I think I was on some kind of uh, cringe or some kind of binge or something. I don't know. I had about 400 chickens. The thing about it, chicks, the thing about it, you know, I had them under the heat and lamp. Everything was great. They was just <laughs> little bitty, little yellow things, right? Got them from the hatchery, and I was just, I was like, that's an awful lot of chickens, but we're going to see what's going to happen. The ones that were weak in all those chicks, because it was just one of me and 400 of them, you could see them pecking on each other. Pecking. I was like, oh, so I started spreading them out, putting them in different um, uh, uh, cages. When they see somebody weak, they start pecking on them, pecking on them, pecking on them, until he was ultimately dead. It was the worst nightmare I ever had. So when I see people raising chicks and stuff like that, I really have a great admiration for them because my experience was really messed up. Now, I know that's a story y'all probably didn't want to hear, but here's where I'm going with it. America's getting weak just like that. We've been pecked on and we're getting pecked on all, all from within. We got this racism going on that we're gonna have to address that we done built a whole country, a whole foundation, and 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 we done used the inhabitants to build this country, and now we have no more need for them, so we just want to kill them and get rid of them. But it don't work like that. And only a psychotic mind would feel that way. Or a supreme narcissist that um, 
uh, uh, fears that once I use you and wear you down on to the next one. Okay? But it's not happening. Because we're not going anywhere. And either you are going to share the, in, uh, um, the, the, the inhabitants that God gave us all, the birthright for all of us, of humanity. I believe in my humble opinion, that God made us into tribes and families that we should get to know each other. That's what I think. Okay? So now, this is not it. The white man will to rule. He's been ruling, and he's been ruling for a long time, and he's been ruling in the wrong way. He's been ruling with murder, fear, deceit, rape, thuggery, uh, robbery, uh, pillaging, and it just can't go on no more. You cannot. The rich of this world is going to destroy the beautiful, the beautiful world that God has made for all of us. And we can't let it happen. We cannot allow America to get burnt down. We can't. But guess what? Not willing to share with me and mine and my grandbabies and my great grandbabies so they can have a future. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn.